Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and in today's video I'm going to show you how I did my Linneus makeup, and I hope you guys like it. Remember, like, favorite, subscribe, and share. The first thing I do is I shave, because I don't want a He-Man tranny face all over this cute Linneus cosplay. So everybody, shave. Then you wash your face so you don't keep getting zits like I have all over my face right now. The next thing you do is you're going to apply your contacts, because if you're like me, you'll cry through your makeup if you apply them later. Then you're going to glue down your eyebrows. This is an easy step for the most part. You're going to go ahead and get rid of excess oils using an astringent or rubbing alcohol in my case. After you get rid of the excess oils, you're going to brush your hair in the opposite direction it grows. You're going to apply Elmer's glue stick, the purple one washable, in the same opposite direction the hair grows. Then you're going to apply it in the direction the hair grows, getting the hair to lay flat. You're going to let this dry. Then you're going to do a second coat where you will apply a medium to full coverage powder foundation over the, uh, the glue while it's still wet. And you will go ahead and have it adhere, let it finish drying. Then do another coat over that and it should be fine. Then you're going to go ahead and prime your face. I use two primers. I, they're both Urban Decay. The first one is Pore Perfecting. The second one is Brightening. I love these two combined because they give the face a very flawless, beautiful finish. Then my next step is to go ahead and spray my face with Urban Decay's D-Slick Foundation Finisher. Now I do this before and after I apply my foundation because I think it looks more flawless and it keeps me from sweating through my makeup and having a fucked up face. The next step I do is I go ahead and apply a foundation slash concealer. This one is Max Pro Longwear Concealer and NC42. It's one of my favorites to apply for when I need a fishy flawless face because it conceals everything all in one. My main complaint with matte concealers and foundations is you either get super red or you get super yellow. There's nothing in between for an olive tone person like me, so I end up using a powder foundation later that is a red based foundation. Then I highlight my face using a Ben Nye Cream foundation in I don't know what color because the name's rubbed off, but it's a few shades lighter than I am. And I apply that to the high points of my face that I want to stand out like under my eyebrows, along my cheekbones, down the front of my cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, the front of my chin, and along my jawline, and the little circle zone in my forehead. My next step is to contour using a Black Radiance Cream Foundation Stick, and I apply that to all the areas I want to recede on my face, so the, the hollows of my cheeks, underneath my lip, the sides of my nose and my temples and underneath my chin. Then I go ahead and I blend the highlights and the contour together so they're not as harsh and scary. Then your next step is to go ahead and just reapply as you see fit. Um, this is my least favorite stage of me doing makeup, at least from this angle. Otherwise, I do enjoy the whole highlighting contouring process a little too much, as you'll see in just a second. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm weird. <laughs> My next step is I go ahead and apply a powder foundation. I use two powder foundations from that. One is an NC30, which is my very pink tone, which I really, really like, and I use all the time over my normal concealer routine like this, and then NC42. Then I go into my eyes, and I do use the Naked palette, the Nasic, Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay, and this is the first palette, and I use the lightest color in it to apply the inner corner of my eyes and on my brow bone, and the color's name is Venus. After that, I go ahead and use a Milani eyeshadow in Tickled Pink, and apply that all over my lid, all the way up to where I put the other highlight. Then over in my crease, I apply Milani's Brownstone eyeshadow, and I blend that up with both my finger and the aid of a blending brush, and I reapply the highlight as needed. Mm -hmm. 
Now your next step, I'm just showing you here, me blending it out. Now it looks really dark in this clip, but it really isn't later on once you get lashes and the eyeliner on. Now you're going to reapply the colors you need to reapply that have kind of faded out. I wanted more impactful high pink, so I add more of the pickled pink onto it and underneath my eyelash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a liquid mask uh, eyeliner. This one's from Mary Kay in black. And then I also end up using an eyeliner pencil from Mary Kay in black also. Uh, it's a retractable eye pencil from them. And I end up, in just a second, applying NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk in the inner third of my eye where I didn't apply the black eyeliner. Just to brighten and make my eyes look more awake and beautiful and big. I also apply the NYX Jumbo Pencil all over my brow so that way I can have beautiful pink brows in a minute. Now I did do a really ratchet bougie job on this and I'll admit I kind of skimped because I was in a hurry because I didn't want to quite look like a hot mess in my video but well he bangs so you guys did notice so it's good it's all good but in the end pictures you'll see how bougie and bad it really looks. Then you go ahead and you put on mascaras and my mascara I used in this video, which I only used one this time, which is really weird, is Ultimate Mascara from Mary Kay. I like this one combined with another mascara, normally. Now I apply my false lashes, and I'm sorry, I'm going to say this just once. I'm never doing a, a, an eyeliner, I mean, an eye, false eyelash tutorial ever, because I just can't get it on camera. Next thing is I apply a nude pink lipstick. It's a from a tube it's a NYX lipstick and I absolutely love this color it's very very pretty and it's very virginal so if you like nude virginal kind of colors this is yours I also apply a cover girl I think it's cover girl lipstick slash gloss thing that came out like a year ago and also a nudie color and it makes the lipstick stay on all day then you apply your costume so you can look gorgeous all day long and you fiddle with your wig you do some poses because you want to look cute then you're going to go ahead and you're going to go on to the next step. Well, actually, which is the filming for me. But then I showed you guys what it looked like afterward. I hope you guys liked it. Remember, like, favorite, subscribe, and share. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Corbin. And I hope you liked today's video. I know it was a little odd. I'm not used to filming makeup tutorials sort of things. So I hope you guys liked it. Um... It was a lot of fun. If you guys want to see more cosplay-like videos for reviews, or if you want to see more videos along the line of what I was, just did, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. If you have suggestions of yaoi characters or characters in general I should cosplay as as I do reviews and their personality or whatever, leave them down below. I'd love to know and get your opinion on it. And yeah. God, there's something on my camera lens. Hold on. <sighs> And you guys have a happy Halloween. How does my male epicent look? <laughs>